Here we go. Ready in. Ready in. Dang. Yeah. yeah. I found the perfect. I found the perfect spot for the light. Yeah. I found for the remote. I'm gonna yeah, block it. Mm-hmm. Welcome into the Bogey Bro a banter. Bogey Bros banter. There is an apostrophe S. A lot of people don't know about the apostrophe S. I've got quite the idea for the banter today. It involves this piece of paper. Don't we worry. We did come in today, and Hunter said, we'll "I've got a great idea for I saw banter, it on TikTok. which makes me very excited." I saw it on TikTok, but first, a word from our sponsors. Sweaty Sack Summer is now no longer approaching. Sweaty Sack Summer is officially here. June twenty first is the start of summer. That was yesterday. Yeah. Sweaty I, Sack Summer. Wait, rest. summer just now started. Yeah. Oh dang. Do you sweaty feel Sack the sweat? Summer. Yeah, I'm sweating okay. right now. Is here, and it's time for you to prioritize the comfort of your crotch. That's why the Kings of Crotch Comfort Manscaped have spent two years designing the most comfortable boxer briefs out there. We've had the honor of testing out these boxer briefs, and they are some of the softest fabric underwear. I think Trevor just said he's wearing them right now. How soft? Soft. Very. Uh, and they're so breathable. It's like gills for your groin. They even trademark the jewel pouch, so you know it's getting serious. I think it's time you invest in your family jewels, so let your bulge breathe and get 20% off and free shipping with the code BANTER20 over at Manscaped. Dot com. We've talked a lot about their lawnmower 4.0, their body wash, their refined scent deodorant, cologne, all of that stuff's available too. Super impressive stuff. But what they're doing with the boxer game, I think, is very underrated. It's sliding under the radar because when you hear manscaped, you're immediately thinking about landscaping your man. But yes. the boxers is the package that holds it all together. And what, what? they're doing is... What? what? What did I mess up there, Connor? <laughs> you didn't necessarily, necessarily mess anything up. I just loved what you said. Landscaping your man. That's why you got the weed <laughs> wagger for up top. No, you I got understand. The, okay. I understand. And then the boxers hold it all together. Mm-hmm. They're the perfect bow for your package. I like boxers. Why aren't they using that one? <laughs> and it is so comfortable. Their boxers really are, though. Forget all of the different things I'm saying. Their boxers are incredible. The micromodal fabric is buttery soft. That's a great way to describe it, actually. Mm. And breathable. You can walk, run, strut in these moisture-wicking boxers. Help you breathe without breaking a sweat. The tagless waistband hugs your body without digging in and lays flat against your skin to reduce chafing. And you can choose from arrangement and design and colors and sizes range from small to 3XL. So be sure to get 20% off and free shipping with the code BANTER20 at manscaped.com. That's 20% off and free shipping with banter20 over at manscaped.com. And once the boxers 2.0 touch your sack, there's no going back. Nice. No going back. Manscaped, baby. That is so dangerous, Hunter. You just throw your phone? I got an box on that bad mamma jamma. Most of the floor over there is I actually, right now, I just, I ordered a new screen protector for my phone because I, I, um, had my screen protector the edges were just starting to get a little chipped up and it mm-hmm. finally bothered me too much to where i peeled it off so satisfying and i've been going like this is like day three now with no screen protector on my phone yeah. so far so good but it's very nerve-wracking stuff i don't have a screen protector on mine um but you have an otter box so yeah i you, do yeah i have a screen but protector i have the otter mine. box it's like a the reflex case or whatever like there's no yeah i have a screen protector on mine but the screen protector does have cracks in it yeah so I'm I got minor coming in today. So then I'll if I can make it till later today without breaking my phone, that'd be great. I think we make it our goal to break Trevor's phone. I don't think so idea. unless you want to replace it. You have a screen protector coming in and you just put it over the glass crack. And ah! Yeah, you can't even tell then, yeah. You well you just paint the screen protector screen colored. What is screen color? What's the color of screen? Clear. Put a clear coat on it. You no. Do not, you don't understand. It's every just, color. I don't know. Mm. Think about that. The glass on top's clear. Hunter, dude, yeah, just paint it clear. If you think stupid. for you think anything I just said was serious, like there, I, I can not, never tell. <laughs> I was not trying to start anything. I, don't well, I want to start a fire cubes. over here. Like it's clear. All right, here's what we're gonna do. <laughs> All right, I, I'm so excited about this. Stab me in the hand. No, as hard as right. you can. Are you Connor, do, okay. Name a chair. A chair type. A chair type. Mm-hmm. You're sitting in one. You're sitting in one. Something you think. love seat. Love seat. All right. You would. Connor or Trevor. No. Oh. You name a chair type. Rocking chair. Ooh, that's a dang, that's a good one. That's my favorite dang chair. it, I regret I think mine. That's my favorite chair. Dang it. Mm, yeah, I like a good rocking Love chair. Love seat, are you freaking kidding me? Stupid. All right, I'm going with recliner. Oh my gosh. <sighs> you would. Uh, Connor, back to you. Another chair? Mm-hmm. We're staying on uh, only chairs. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, <laughs> only chairs. <laughs> um,. A office chair. Mm. Can, we, can we say like brands and types or just like a kind of chair? Kind of chair is what we're going to try to stick to. But Gaming if we need... chair. Gaming chair. Okay. That's different from an office chair. Yes. So I'm trying to be more specific. Slightly different. 
give myself some room. Okay. Uh, and then we did go. Oh my gosh. This okay. Is a disaster. Trevor. Stool. A bar stool. Dude, that's what what, what I was gonna say next. Uh, and then we did go. It's crazy. What? This guy doesn't even know what he's doing. What is he? Doing I don't know right what. Yeah, he's yeah, doing. yeah. Okay, I'm here. He's here. Just for those of you just listening, um, Hunter, Hunter is hearing us say these things and writing them in random places on this piece of paper. Not random places. Just like in very strategic places okay. on this piece. Of uh, paper. I'm going with. I think we went Adirondack. Okay. Nice. It's, it's more material, chair. but. Oh, no, but like Adirondack no, you're, you're chairs. Right, you're right. If just, you Google it, you'll see it. No, you're right. I believe uh, you're right. Somebody explain to me what that is. It's that the woven. The beach chair. No, it's like, not woven. Okay, I apparently need to Google this. So. Yeah, I thought Adirondack was like the woven uh, like no. pieces of stuff. It's this. That's You're thinking of uh, these are Adirondack chairs. Oh, come on, Wayfair. Stop. These. Uh, okay. Oh. That's Adirondack. How did I not know? I thought. And what this, am I this talking about? You're thinking of. Uh, um. Whoa. Connor, how Wicker. many things do you Wicker. Th- That's it. How many things do you think you know? I don't. Adirondack. That was fun. Um don't ever Who are we let back them. to, Connor? A park bench. Okay, that's good. <laughs> what do you mean okay is good? No, that's, that's a good one. Freaking awesome. That's a good one. <laughs> Trevor? Um, We're gonna I, need sixteen of these. We're at eight. Oh my by the way. Gosh. What are we doing right now? Trust me. Why it's gonna be worth I it. trust you. I guess I'll take office chair since I mean now it's just now it's just like think of a chair at this point. It doesn't even, I'm not even trying to be like creative. This is the most fun I've ever had. <laughs> uh, okay, okay. So now I need to is go. Is there 16 types of chair? There's definitely 16 types. Of I'm chair. gonna start googling. You can Google. There's definitely 16 um, types of chair. I should probably Google something as well because I'm losing. I'm losing. I'm losing yeah. my mind track. We want to start breezing through. I'm these Gucci types to things. Gucci, dude. Okay. Oh, okay. Now it's now I'm getting ideas. This is great. This is what we needed. No, I need them with the seeds, please. <sighs> oh boy, I've already messed up. It's okay. That's okay. We'll just redo the seeding in a second. What? Um. Are we doing a bracket for yeah, chairs? Ex- yeah. You're <laughs> yeah. gonna write all these down, and then it's gonna be a bracket, isn't it? Maybe. All right. So we need number nine now, please. Why did you pick chairs? We're going to have to debate chairs. Number nine. Me, wait, what do you who mean number nine? It? Who's who? who it's just your said, turn. You didn't haven't said one yet. Who's yeah. that office chair? Trevor said uh, office yeah, chair? So it's back turn. to me. I'm going with car seat. Like a car seat? No, like the seat in your car. Okay. Okay. Seat in car is what I'm going to write mm. down. I'm going to go. All right, we have number 10 next. I just know this is going to end with us having to debate chairs. Like, you could have picked cereals. That would have been a great one. I think this is pretty funny. Yeah, until you're debating a rocking chair versus an Adirondack. <laughs> yeah, yeah exactly. And somebody's like, well, one of them rocks, and it's basically the same thing, but it rocks. And you're like, well, yeah, that is better. No, I'm picking Adirondack all day. All day. And then Hunter says that. and then you just Have like, you oh. ever said Adirondack? It doesn't matter. Look, is it my too far ahead. Is it my turn? Yes. No, an, yes. An Ottoman. How do you spell that? Oh, it's, it's a footrest. T- t- no, you can sit on it. Good. Auto man. Okay. That's going to be a tough Trevor. one. Um, how about a folding chair? How about it? What kind of folding chair? Like like a metal folding chair? Like at like a church or like a like a camping chair? Like what kind of folding chair? Like Yeah, like one that goes like this. Flat. Like one, okay, yeah. gotcha, gotcha, All right, gotcha. Back gotcha. to me. I'm on number 12. This is supposed to be five. So this is 12. There's so many chairs. What the frick's a ghost chair? I'm going with a... Ooh. We've said chair so many times that it's lost meaning to me. I'm yeah, chair, 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 chair. Ew, chair. Oh. Bean bag, <laughs> bean bag, bean bag. Oh, that's, a good like, one. that's a good one. What does chair even mean anymore? Chair, 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 chair. All right, who, <laughs> it's, it's becoming harder to say. Who's you after try. me? I'm after you. How do you, how do you not know whose turn it is? We're going in a circle. <laughs> yeah, There's only three of us. All right, Connor. Mine is going to be a camping chair. I've also called them soccer chairs. My wife would call them cross country chairs. Okay, uh, just whatever sport you grew up playing nice. and using them for. Trevor, a director's chair. Ooh, you like that? Ooh, yeah, man. 
That's a good one. All right, yeah. I am. It's me now. I'm number fifteen. Yeah, you are. Uh, Ooh, I've got a good one. I think I'm going with a stadium seat. I like that. I like that. I'm gonna throw. I do. I'm this gonna the last one. Oh, I've got a great one. A this is really one. gonna throw a wrench in the works. Mm-hmm. A throne. Oh, yeah. <laughs> All right. There we have it. <laughs> we have one say, through I was sixteen. Say window seat next. We have one through sixteen. Oh, that's a good one. Here's the here's the rules for the arguments. Okay. Mm-hmm. Uh, please please be a good set of rules because it needs it. It's pretty straightforward. Okay. Winner. There wins. are no rules. The winner wins. Oh my <laughs> no, gosh. you can basically you make a good argument. So here's. We can do this a few different ways. I apologize in advance for everybody that's about to listen to us. We can do this a few different ways. We can assign, we can have people pick which one they want to represent and then have a mediator be the person Mm. that decides who advances. That's evil. Or Mm. we can all three be in discussion and we have to come to a unanimous decision. I think all I think three, all three because some because okay. a chair is going to win every time. All right. Welcome to <laughs> Welcome to the Ultimate Chair Showdown on the Bogey Bro Banter. We have 16 bump, chairs. Bump, 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 all ranked 1 through 16 and the first up one up. I just want to I want to know like how long it took you to come to the conclusion you were going to pick chairs for this. Well, as soon as I saw the TikTok was it TikTok okay. chairs? Okay. Yeah. Oh. Okay. <laughs> All right. Let's see, because there's a lot of things you can choose. Matchup number one: ba, ba, ba. love seat versus throne. Whoa. The throne. one versus sixteen seed. I think throne got robbed personally. Yeah, I kind of feel like throne got robbed too. I think throne is gonna. I mean, throne's gonna be pretty tough to beat because it comes well, with power. Here's you got to think though. Does it though? Are we talking? That's what I'm saying. Are we talking oh about what gosh. the chair comes with, or just what we're sitting in? I think just I as rather, a chair. I okay. would rather sit in a love seat than a throne. Yeah, I think mm. a love seat kind of eats you. Yeah, I say well, you can lounge, you can lay down on it. Depends you can on the throne it. though, because like you're the king in this scenario, so, like so your, your throne, throne could, could be, be as com- Yeah, your throne could be whatever you want it to be. But are you a king in this scenario, so is the, or is are it you it just is the Trevor, throne too overpowered, or are you just Trevor sitting in a throne? No, I'm the king. Only the king sits. Okay, well then, sitting in the love seat, I'm the president. Mm. Mm. (laughs) You see, I see. (laughs) I mean, yeah. The throne does give a connotation of you have power. It does give more so than a love seat. The love seat gives a love seat does give a connotation that you have love though, and that you have a partner. Imagine how might not. (laughs) Not every king has a queen. Beg to differ. Love and a partner, or. Power. Imagine like power. how sick a throne would look, though. Love seat. Like you always can buy the love seat. I think we need to put a timer on these things. Each wow. match is gonna have a minute. I, Here's how I feel. I'm about not it. gonna go very much longer. <laughs> Here's how I feel. <laughs> I go. Care. I don't Here's care how I very feel about much it. about this. Closing arguments. Yes, yeah, sitting in a throne looks very cool. Yeah. Yes, yeah, sitting in a love seat is very <laughs> much more comfortable. <laughs> I don't. <laughs> Somebody make the decision because I think I'm good with either one. All right, one. here's what we're going to have to do. We're going to have to put this to a final vote. Starting with Trevor. Throne or love seat? Throne. Throne. Connor? Dadgum it. Throne or love seat? Connor's never going to be able to vote. I can there's, satisfy there's my love zero. seat needs with a couch, so I'm going to say throne. Throne it is then. I was going to vote love seat. Doesn't matter. My vote's nullified. I like when we both vote so we can just like cancel throne you out. Throne advances. All right, Connor, next up we have rocking chair versus stadium seat. Go. So this is another one of those. Yeah, are we, you in a stadium well, look, watching we a advanced, game? Or we you... advanced a throne purely because you were a king. No. No, no more, that's not true. Said, well, it wasn't cooler. comfort. It surely wasn't no, comfort. it wasn't well, comfort. It was because you look cool. Well, you look cooler you sitting look at cool. a game. Where's a stadium seat going to be that you're not in a stadium? What? I had, Name a place I had a stadium, stadium I had a stadium seat in my basement as a kid. And you're saying that wasn't sick? Uh, how many people no. came over and said nice rocking chair versus how many people came over no. and be like, wait, is nobody, that from like nice stadium? Seat? Nobody <laughs> gave two rips about the stadium seats. Why was it down there then? Because my dad used to own a hockey shop and he had it in there as decor. What type of story am I going to get cool. if I say, oh, what's that rocking chair? But I think we bought it at Cracker Barrel. No, it was. Okay, well, here's what here's what I have to say. I think I got a cool, I think stadium seat is a cool Stadium chair. seats suck. I, le- well, it I trapped my leg in it also once because I was on standing on it. It slid, like it well, folded on my your leg. Fault. That's you were, your fault. It's, you it's called a seat. It right. It's, it's called, called a seat, stand. not a stand. Dang it, that was good, Hunter. Well, I, I'm I'm taking rocking chair no matter what. So you guys, Time's up, time's up, time to vote. Time's up, I didn't even say anything. Good. Well, stadium seat or a rocking chair? Here's how I feel about it. Okay, a rocking chair is just always hits the spot. A I chair. love rocking. <laughs> chairs. You, you forget about rocking chairs and then you sit yes. and you're like, "Wow, this is I'm yes. having so much fun." 
A stadium seat is never the best part of what you're experiencing when no, you're it's the worst part. Pro- it usually. probably is it's, the worst part. Yeah, it is. You sit in that in the stadium seat, and I'm just suck. I'm just thinking about. I would ha- rather go the rest of my life not sitting in a stadium seat than not sitting in a rocking chair. But is that true though? If you can never sit in a stadium seat, you can never sit in a stadium. Not true. Yep. Every because seat in a bleachers, stadium. That's a stadium seat. No, it's not. So, so any every seat in a stadium, any seat in a stadium is, is technically a stadium, a stadium seat. seat. Oh my gosh. Okay, well, well, I think well then, just for I'll, then I'll choose st- stadium seat because I'm, I'm just sitting in a rocking chair, chair at the stadium. Trevor? <laughs> <laughs> you just bullied him. That was ridiculous. You just let him bully you into that. Rocking chair. Well, no, I was giving him a taste of his own medicine. I was saying, if it's everything in a stadium is a stadium seat, then I'm choosing the rocking chair in the stadium. So, a stadium seat. And that's fine. I like the rocking chair more. Oh, thank you. Oh, my God. I hate that. Rocking chairs are way more comfortable. I just. Yeah. Come you stupid idiot. Someone had, to, someone had to put up a fight for the stadium seat because, like, no one was going to pick that. Why did somebody have to put up a fight for it? Well, because like it was it was it an obvious you, loss. He made you feel like you were so dumb for choosing the rocking chair, and then you took no, it. No, I didn't feel dumb. I was giving, I was giving him a stupid. I was literally giving him a taste of his medicine, saying, "Okay, if a rocking chair in a stadium is a stadium seat, there still would be a stadium seat. seat. Yeah, but then you can't take the stadium seat outside the stadium, so you can take yeah, the rocking dummy. chair home. <laughs> this rocking chair is on my front porch. If it, um, no, I, I, I'm the, just rocking. The stadium seat in my basement came out of the stadium at some point. So, but then was it yeah. a stadium seat or was it just a folding chair? Valid. I mean, I think it would have been a lot easier for that argument if we just stuck to the traditional stadium seat. All right, we yeah, got recliner versus camping chair. Go. This is a this is the easy one. Oh no, yeah, recliners is gonna be recliners, so hard. Recliners, yeah. like it's a recliner. Yeah. Oh. Well, what's like camping chair? We're talking. I like, love the, like, camping chair. The lawn chairs, yeah. you, like pop up for a yeah. game. Yeah. I love never those chairs, but camping like, chair. But you can't beat a recliner. Mine is camping chair. Why? Well, because think about it. If mm, you yeah. had a choice between a world where recliners didn't exist or where camping chairs didn't exist, how are you sitting whenever you're at your son's soccer game? On the grass. I'm or probably you, just as comfortable. You're just sitting on the grass. Mm-hmm. Put a I'm not down. Com- I'm not comfortable that blanket way. Blanket down. I or might like, lay down. It, or I, like, I like elbows. camping. I like camping. What am I going to sit on while I'm camping? A, a stool. A camping store. You can bring camping. You're a watching camping a movie. Chair. What are you sitting in? I don't have a recliner. I've That's never had problem. a recliner in my house ever. I can That's just lay down on a couch. Then. That no makes wonder. perfect sense. I can just sit on a couch right, so and put Connor, my feet up on the table. We that have 10 seconds insane. left. Closing arguments, anyone? I think recliners are great, but I think that I just like how much I use a camping chair. I use a camping chair. more. All right, so Connor, what's your vote? Mine, mine is camping chair. I know it's going to be recliner. Recliner. That's, recliner. Fine. That's fine. I'm not Recliner has that. moved on. You're I think we would have been, so I think we would have been bur- murdered if we chose camping chair over recliner. To be completely honest. Oh, I'm just looking at you too. I'll say this, Connor. I didn't grow up with a recliner in my house at all. And then we got, we inherited one from Kenzie's parents. We we don't even have right now. It was this leather two seater one. You remember those in my condo? Mm -hmm. And that changed my life. It's the greatest thing. No, I love recliners. It was the best thing ever. Recliners are great, but I like, I would rather have camping chairs than recliners. You're just such an outdoor guy. Yeah. Where would I sit outside? You're just so crunchy. Logs, grass, blanket. (laughs) Yeah, there's like hillside. A lot of, yeah, if you were like truly bleachers, <laughs> bleachers, or like another chair that just isn't a camping chair that you could bring, bring your recliner, put like, it in the back of your truck, like a folding chair. Folding chairs that's not comfortable. We well, get padded ones, and also it's not and as camping portable. chairs really aren't comfortable either. They're almost they're, as yeah, portable. they are. Camping chairs, no, are, camping chairs are pretty comfy, but yeah. they're not not that comfy. Not uh, comfy enough not to make recliner. Comfy. Not comfy enough to make recliners. Never, like, no, I'm not really trying to nice replace ones. recliners. No, with that's, what that's what this is. There's going to be one chair left in the entire world. Is yeah. that how this works? Whenever you choose this chair, the other chairs don't exist. That is now. I don't. You shouldn't have put that in his head because that's going to change the way. Right. It's going to change Next the way up, I view everything. We have gaming chair versus director's chair. The three versus the fourteen seat and goo. Director's chairs suck. They're really hard not to fall over in if you've ever sat in one. I would say a gaming chair gaming because chair if the thousand. director wants to, they can just sit in the gaming chair while they're directing. Gaming chair by a thousand. <laughs> I will say that I think director chair might be the worst chair ever invented. So yeah, I'm not even going to yeah. try to put up a counter argument. All right, well that one was sided in 15 minutes. Directors why do they get better chairs? Yeah, why do they exist? They should sit in a camping chair. Like, well, it's because they don't want them to be too comfortable. They just want to get off their legs for a second. Do that on anything else. Yeah, like this like is just like it's a, that sounds like the definition a canvas, of a chair. It's a I was canvas. Just making, I was just making on a like a mostly. weird wooden frame. Yeah. Don't do it. Again. They do look. They do kind of look cool sometimes. Though. It's a status. It's mm-hmm. totally a status thing. It's like a tradition. Where's the five thing. seat? You didn't make a five seat. Yeah, I did down here. All right, we're gonna go up here to the top left bracket again. We have a car seat, so like a seat in a car versus an office chair. I feel like this is a close one. This is a close one. I mean, 
you d- if you don't have an office chair, you can replace it with a different kind of chair. You could possibly office chair. What are you going to replace a car chair the, with? The best thing about well, an office chair, some, they'd invent something else. Surely, the best thing about an office chair <laughs> is the fact that it swivels and rolls and goes up and down, but. They're not usually super comfortable. I've never had one expensive enough, I guess, to be like... You can get them that they're as comfy as a recliner. Yeah. Well, I'm sure you can. But, but like, you can that's also not... get car seats as comfortable as a recliner. Right. And that's like cars, you can have like the heated or cooled seats in them. Like Here's they have what motorized I'll say. to go back and forth. And Here's whatnot. what I'll say. The cheapest car you sit in will still be somewhat comfortable. Yes. The yeah. cheapest office chair you sit in, well, that was beautiful. Yeah. That was beautiful. That was beautiful. So, I think you got to go car seat. Also, car seat, in a world oh, in favor say say whoa. And also I don't whoa. think that, I don't think there can be a world where car seats don't exist. Whoa. So. I, I, that argument That argument, argument yeah. was that one was only for the gaming chair yeah. versus direct. Oh, is, okay. No, <laughs> that, is, that out the window. That now. is not going to work for this. <laughs> All right, okay. I'm sorry. That was just what I was told to do. Connor, dude, you I, I, I changed the rules every matchup. Yeah, you okay. just it depends on what what happens, man. Do not listen to this guy. He's crazy. <laughs> uh, Ottoman versus park bench. Like this is also a tough one. Here's the thing, park o- benches aren't great. Ottoman Ottomans high key suck because when you sit on them, no back support. When you put your feet on them, they usually slide out from underneath you, and you got to just bring them back, and then they sucks. Well, not if you have carpet. I have carpet, but my ottoman and it slides out. So the ottoman we have is like a long one. It's almost like a bench, and it's it's metal on the bo- or smooth wood on the bottom, uh, so it doesn't grab. And I've had a few. Oh, but bottoms you're like, like putting that. your feet on the corner, like propping up. You're not like laying them no, on top of it. When you lay it on top, now that is just we, interesting. Yeah, you got you got grease under there. You grease it's in the bottom. Struggle, man. <laughs> I really want an ottoman. I have to use it our our coffee table. We've got we've we got another, two we've got ottoman two ottomans. Edge. You guys saw them at our house. Ottomans are useful. They are useful, uh, but um, they do sit in the corner of our dining room, and I forget they exist. Do you park benches? Nope. Here's I don't the, think I've ever sat. The on other day, I sat on one, and a giant spider the size of my my hand went on my arm, and now I'm too scared to ever sit over there ever again. Nice. I think park Did benches as a disc golfer. I pu- I release it in my neighbor's yard. <laughs> think about how how much of a blessing a good park bench is when you're disc golfing, though. Sometimes, sometimes you need that. But, I, don't, I don't usually sit on But them. I don't really sit on them very often. I think Ottomans I th- aren't really chairs. So I'm going park bench, personally. Oof. I think I'm going to give Ottoman one round. They're they're an easy out in the next okay. one, but like this is just Connor? too bad. Ottomans are very useful, but they can re- be replaced by other things. They have storage in them, too, Park though. benches can't really be replaced by other things, so I'm going to say park bench. Park bench advances. Gosh, bro, you you would side with Hunter, dude. It's so typical. Copycat, Copycat Connor. Copycat Connor. <laughs> Next, I'm choosing first from now on. Next up, we have. <laughs> no, a, you're not. We I'm, I'm you. throw this is punching each of you after this episode. This is a good one here. You won't be able to choose Folding first. chair versus hard. a stool. Stool. A bar stool. That stool. is. Oh. That's what Trevor said. I'm taking folding chair because they just revolutionized the setup teardown game of events. Yeah, folding chairs. Folding chairs important. are folding chairs are very important chairs. They suck, but they're very important chairs. But I'm choosing bar stool. I think bar stools. My bars, if a chair has no back support, I have a bad lower back, so it's never. Gonna, that's totally fine. My I'm never going to get it. What's your answer, Hunter? I don't know. Who's going to pay me more? I won't. Pay I don't you care. Anything. Not passionate about it. Yeah, I'm not super passionate about this one either. All right, folding chair it is. Oh, copycat Hunter just wanted to pick whatever Trevor said. Folding chair is a better chair. Yeah. Yeah. No, you're completely he, right. He's not really the copy I, guy in the office. I completely here, agree. I just didn't want to choose folding chair after Trevor cho- chose it because I hate his guts. That's fine. I love All your right. guts, though. Last one in the first, <laughs> last one in the first <laughs> round. We have a bean bag versus an Adirondack. Ooh, that's a tough mm. one. Adirondack chairs. I I talked trash about them earlier, but we do uh, the beach house that we usually rent has them out on the porch, and they're phenomenal. They're chairs. extremely comfortable. Very. They're great. They're very comfortable chairs. They're great. Bean bags are pretty great. Bean bags suck. I had. Ooh, you haven't had the right bean bag because when I when I live. Well, you had a king size bed bean bag. That's was, not a bean bag at that point. It is a bean bag. It's oh. just bigger. If you have a beanbag that's big enough, but and what nice if I got enough, an Adirondack chair that's big enough? <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying, if you have a beanbag that big that you can literally sink all the way into it, you can sleep on that thing. Like it was pretty incredible. Because of that experience in my life, having that amazing beanbag, I'm gonna go with it because it was just it was a tremendous. That's fine. If I forgot beanbag chairs existed, I didn't forget Adirondack chairs existed. You so kind of did because you thought they were wicker. Well, but I just I forgot what the word Adirondack. There you means. go. Adirondack chairs are incredible. They make every beach and like deck deck sitting experience way better. Do you have one on your deck? Not on my personal deck, but my parents' deck. Mm, so growing up, you're do you have a beanbag chair on your? I deck? don't have any. deck. Yep. Actually, I don't even have a deck. <laughs> I don't have a deck. You have a back porch. Yeah, but it doesn't really get used. So so hypocrite. If All there's right. an Adirondack chair, Hypocrite. guess what would happen? 
I'd use the heck out of it. Well, then we're going to get you. Connor and I are going to chip in. We're all going to get you. They're like $400 a piece. No. That is so fast. Not on the marketplace, yeah. man. On the FB yeah. marketplace. I say, you look, I, if y'all give me a plastic Adirondack, I'm burning it. Plastic you gotta Adirondack. Get a true Adirondack. Plastic chair. Adirondack chairs are, I would say, they they're suck. more comfortable at first because there's a little bit more give to them. But they, they will break and leave you on your back after like after a little while. Yeah, they suck. The nice wooden ones that are going to last you, like your well, grandpa will pa- pass it down well, we to you. We can build one for less than 400 Maybe what today's lumber? Adirondack advances. <laughs> you guys were using plywood in that video? <laughs> yeah, honestly. All go. right, back up. We have now. All right, here we go. Round two. Round two. I've got... He's got... Four Adirondack chairs in Lynchburg, Virginia. All in perfect shape. All of them selling for $150. Are they wooden? They they're are also, wooden. They're also blue, though. Okay, yeah. paint them. Yeah, what the frick? <laughs> are y'all painting them? <laughs> yes. Yeah, buy right, them right now I've and we'll got, paint them. I've got okay. <laughs> four right here again. That's going to be our new These thing. ones are, what color would be okay? Because these are like a tan color. Yeah, looks, I'd have to run that by my wife. That'd sounds be fine quite with me. neutral. $75 for all four of them. Are they wooden? Yep, they are wooden. I remember when you we bought, talk when out we of bought, your butt. No, when we bought Adirondack <laughs> chairs like oh, here we seven go. or eight years ago, they were like a few hundred well, bucks a piece. I, I bet, I'm, I'm sure buying them, buying furniture new is very expensive. So I, I don't. They were very expensive. I don't disagree with you. Because I remember yeah. we wanted another one. My parents were like, no. Absolutely not. You, you, we have the two, and that's all we have. I was like, dang it. All right. Throne versus seat and car. Round two. Oh, man. Round two is going to be tough. Winner of this advances to the final four. Keep that in mind. Cars, seat and car. I just feel like you can't, like... Yeah, seat and car I'm going to have to go they're with. They're very because the important. So we they're got rid important. of a love seat because of how cool the throne is, and then we're just going to abolish the throne would you because think, of a random seat and a car? You think the seat and the car could be heated and cooled. Would you think it would be cool? Our argument was that your throne, you can do whatever you want. No, I have a question. Yeah, well, would you I, I think, think it was cooler if you walked into this office and I had put a throne in here and was sitting in it? Would you think that was cooler, or would you think it was cooler if I drove up in a brand new twenty twenty two? You better be careful. Chevy Trailblazer. Absolutely, the tr- I, throne. I thought you were going to say the throne. I thought your argument was going to be if you were sitting on a throne behind your desk or a car seat you somehow put behind your desk. That, that would like, be cool too. And I thought I was about to say I think the car seat I would be cooler. The throne would be cooler. We'd be like, how'd you get that car seat? <laughs> <laughs> the throne would be the throne is always going to look cooler. Here's what I'm saying is we can't change the argument for the throne just because it's in the second round. Because if we oh use, really? Because I thought basic, we were changing the rules well, I'm every just saying, round. If we use the basic argument, then I would like to I, I would like to veto the throne and get the love seat. I, the I'm scared round. of the power of the throne. It's okay, fine. To scare me. It's I'm starting to scare me. I'm, I I feel like I'm the not love scared. seat is a better seat. I'm not it's scared of the power of the throne. I'm choosing car seat. I'm taking the throne. I'm choosing car seat. Why? Just to annoy you at this point. Well, that's not kind. Well, no, because I feel like the love seat should be in in thing still, and we abolished it. So I'm going thrown out of spite. There's spite in his motives. A car guy versus love guy, very tough <laughs> matchup. <laughs> no, it's that's not why Connor's better, dude. It's all about the cars. It's not about cars. I'm just trying to hear his cars. He's like, there's no replacement for car seats. What are you supposed to do? Stand? That, but that, remember, we decided remember, that's we not that how we're window. doing that. The we're, car window. We're just picking favorite seats. <laughs> All right, rocking we, chair. We explained that earlier. Rocking chair. Well, I've never sat in a bench. throne. I've never sat in a throne. So from my experience, my favorite is a car. Well, seat. you pick throne over love seat. So I that is true. And yeah. now the throne advances. That's because, because that. I feel like I can get my fix elsewhere with a love seat. Mm-hmm. You can get your fix elsewhere with a car. No, you can't. Rocking chair. Where else can you sit in a car? Chair, <laughs> a, a train. Rocking chair versus park bench. <laughs> gotcha. Yeah. Rocking chair. Oh, rocking chair. Park versus bench. Park, park bench. bench is very weak. To get rocking through. chair is going to be a pretty tough one to beat. I think. A great chair. Rocking chair is fine. Okay. Come we all three agree. <laughs> Rocking chair advances. All right. Next up, we have recliner versus Adirondack. Oh man, what a matchup! I'm taking recliner. Not even hard. The only thing here's the th- <sighs> and here's the thing. I'm ignoring. The I have a lot more memories. That's much saying. better memories than Adirondack, these, which makes me I have tough these, to pick a recliner. I have these images of me sitting at the beach in Adirondack, and it's yeah. it's trying to get in my head. But I know that the recliner is a better chair. At the end of the day, I'm going Adirondack because I'm thinking. Oh gosh. Because I'm thinking which one like you're going. You go into somebody's house and there's no recliner. There's only couches, and you're not like dang. I really wanted to sit in a recliner. That's true. But you go to the beach and there's no Adirondack chairs. I mean, why are you like? What, what are, are you, you sitting do? in outside? Yeah. And what I guess that's what I want to hear from you. Beach Trevor. chairs. You I don't have... usually sit at Adirondacks in the beach. Well, not okay, at not the necessarily beach. the beach. You're but at a like... beach house. You go out on the porch. Yeah. What's like, the alternative if there's no Adirondack? 
Because the alternative recliner is a couch. This is the best argument, however. This argument was for some reason invalid last round, so it doesn't matter. What? What? Uh, because I'm doing the whole... The whole uh, well, no, but we're not saying it doesn't exist anymore. We're just saying that, I, and I like this argument. I'm tracking with you guys. Okay. Because like recliner, you have sofa. Adirondack, what do you have? Yeah. On like a beach deck? You could have a hammock. Ooh. Ooh. Or a rocking chair. Or a rocking chair, even. Ooh. So it really is just comfort when you're sitting in it. Yeah. it rolls rocking down chair is going to win this thing. I'm just <laughs> as excited when I see a rocking chair as an Adirondack. Yes. Hammock, meh, because like if you're if you're close enough with the people, yeah, I'm hopping in that hammock and yeah. getting all awkward to get in it. If I'm not, I'm not getting in the hammock. I think I'm taking recliner. Y'all already voted. It's just me. Yeah. I got to get recliner. That's a funny. world without a recliner is a much worse world. Recliner. Or probably a better world. Recliner is just a feat of engineering, man. That Especially, like, I'm thinking, like, that, that like, big up. comfort, think about like, the smi- eat you recline, you're Think like, about ah. this, too, Hunter. Think about the <laughs> smile that hits your face when you sit down on somebody's couch and they go, oh, by the way, there's a recliner. See that button on the side? Oh, yeah. You're like, your face lights up. You're like, yes! Like, it's the best like, thing ever. Ooh, it reclines. Right. Yeah. We have a gaming chair versus a folding chair. Gaming chair. Folding chair. Why? Because we, the same reason that I went on to begin with. Well, that because- was against a stool. <laughs> So yeah, you got to remember what it was faced yeah, sh- up against. Well, I think that folding chairs get used way more, and the replacement for a folding chair would be very difficult at a lot of places that use folding chairs. I just don't. Folding chairs just suck to sit in so bad that I can't vote it again. The thing is, once you've sat in a good gaming chair, mm, can't it's say tough I have. to go back. Yeah, but why not just sit on a recliner whenever you're gaming though? That's not the same. You need to be up and active, but have good lumbar support. I understand that. that. I do if understand that. I'm reclined that. back. I understand the purpose of a gaming chair. I just think that there is an easier way. Like, what are you supposed Here's to do? Here's the thing. What are you at supposed to do? At my school for at- assemblies, right? Like when we had like any type of everyone got together, we had to put Sat chairs down. Sat in the bleachers or those stackable chairs. Yes, and we those stackable those chairs out. take up a ton of space of storage. They did, but you know what? So what they, about places that don't have the storage? Our school had the Sit opportunity the to have folding chairs Stand. and chose, on the floor. chose stackable chairs. So I think I'd have to talk <laughs> to my school principal to understand why that happened, because but it did cheaper. happen. Okay, so now you have a cheaper alternative. It's when not, you, not, when you, it's not a cheaper this, alternative technically because you still just find the place to but store But think of them. this. Once you factor a stackable chair plus storage... Right, so cheaper chair yeah. plus storage, probably about the same cost as getting folding chairs. Mm. Yeah, but sometimes money is gaming chair to come, advances. Sometimes money is e- easier to come by than space. Yeah. Mm. No, you space have storage lockers. Just, just build storage more. lockers. Yeah, <laughs> store them all in a storage locker. Throw okay, them in the back of the trailer. How are you getting them to them the venue trailer, that you're setting up at? Throw them in a trailer and drive them over. Okay, so buy the trailer, rent the mm-hmm. trailer. You can rent the trailer. You probably, I mean, you're at a massive venue. Someone has trailer. I mean, a trailer. you saved like a quarter a of a million dollar not buying the folding chair. Exactly. Oh, you did? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> All right, gaming chair advanced. All right, that's fine. All right, the first Final Four matchup. Congratulations to these two for making it here. This one's going to get heated. Buckle up, people. I'm not going to get heated over It's not going to get heated over it. I'm just going to say which one I believe, and I'm not going to say anything else. A throne versus a recliner. I don't. I'm I taking the no recliner idea. because I think it is the throne of the house. Oh, <laughs> wouldn't the toilet be the throne out. of the house? Like, wouldn't the toilet be the that's throne? That's the porcelain house? throne. Okay. This is like the like metaphorical throne of the house. If you're the guy who or girl who sits in the recliner in the home, you are the king slash queen of that house. So then, wouldn't throne kind of advance? Because is a recliner the same thing as a because, throne? But we know True. the recliner is more. Is, is that a point, recliner just is a household? Is throne? a recliner with power just a throne? Right, but I think that the recliner is, is going to be more comfy. But get this, and though, also it like fits your decor. Technically, a throne is more the idea that surrounds a chair and isn't a specific chair design. Mm. Maybe that's why we've been having so much trouble with it. I'm going to vote recliner. This is why I chose I throne to begin with because I knew throne would be a hard one to argue. I think yeah. against. I think throne is the answer. It all comes down to me yet again. You like just voting last. I have no idea what to vote here. I'm going to purposely wait. A recliner could be a throne. That's That's all I have to say. The tough part is that there's not a solid definition of a throne. Exactly. Here's what I'm going to do. So it can be whatever you want. I'm I'm going to Google recliner and I'm going to Google throne. The first one that picks up, I'm going to use both of those as my comparison. Okay. That's fine if you want to be a sheeple and listen well, to what Google says. Throne is going to have a very metaphorical yeah. images. Top left. All right, there it is. Oh, that's what you meant. Oh, oh you're throne. doing it by the image. Oh, top left image. That's it. Oh, okay. that's a throne. Okay. I mean, it. well, that's somebody's representation of one. Nope, now. that's a throne. Connor, you already <laughs> well, voted. This is my turn. 
Now I'm Googling recliner. <laughs> Next, let's let's do, Kim, oh my Images, gosh, Hunter. <laughs> top left. Ooh, they chose a bad recliner. Let me see. Real bad recliner. Oh, not great. Not Ooh. great. Oof, that one looks Ooh. brutal. That looks awful. That's like hospital waiting room recliner. I mean, I bet it's still comfy if it reclines. <laughs> yeah, but look at that thing. I, they, they look equally as comfortable to me, <laughs> but one looks cooler. No, this looks this looks like it's gonna hurt me to sit in. Mm. Throne advances. Wow, I need I, Hunter. It I needed hurt that. you to sit in. I needed that. Just that to know looks that you painful. Guys weren't that looks like me. the Walmart couches we have over there. Hey, if a different recliner would have showed up, what? Trevor, I'm right with you. <laughs> but a, that recliner showed up. Dude, Trevor, it's over. It's one was over, a fully man. Hey, it's over, chair man. With a little bit of upholstery, looks comfortable. Okay, look at this thing, Trevor. You're trying to tell me that you wouldn't want to sit in this? Yeah, not for comfort. I'm sure it's not. The I'd be the king. I'd be the king metal. of comfort. <laughs> I mean, I'm Throne not. Gonna, I mean, thrones are cool. Like next up, we have rocking chair dude, versus Trevor's gaming so chair. so mad right now. Yeah, well, I would still take Yo, that. Place. We're just gonna get heated. <laughs> rocking chair versus gaming chair. <laughs> Oh, I'm not gonna vote. That, no, but I just want to hear some arguments. <laughs> no, yet I want to hear some arguments because oh, okay, he fine. keeps letting making himself vote last. I'm not making myself. You vote like last. the power. He I'm, like in, the power. I'm very indecisive. Uh, I'm Ken no, Bone. You're not. I'm you're the like undecided. The, you're like the least indecisive person. You you like get an answer in your head and that's it. And that is the answer. I, I did not have an answer. I would never. I, consi- I would never consider you indecisive. In yeah. this game, I am because I don't oh, okay. care about any of these. That makes sense. Rocking chair versus gaming chair. Mm. I can go either way. Yeah. Call me Ken Bowen, I'm I think I'm going to go personally, and I don't expect this argument to carry through to anyone else, mm-hmm. and I won't be hurt by it because okay. I don't care that much. But I think that I would go rocking chair. Okay. Which one would I like to sit in right now, I'm thinking? A rocking chair. I'm just going to take this. I'll game in a rocking chair. So I don't mind. It doesn't matter. <laughs> this is a tough one. Rocking chair versus gaming chair. Rocking chairs are extremely comfortable. Could I game in a rocking chair? No. Yes. Uh, would I enjoy my time nearly as much as gaming in a gaming chair? Absolutely not. But could you rock in a gaming that chair? Isn't it? Yes. But okay, so you go out on your porch and sit in a gaming chair and rock. I, would I look silly? Yeah. It could I be, do it? It though? wouldn't be quite as much of a full. That rock, is an interesting though. way that we've that we could have been doing this. Taking the two chairs and saying, could you do one with do the other one with that chair? Mm. We didn't do that though until right now. We didn't do that until right now. And I don't think it's <sighs> really a very fair argument, but <laughs> I'm also not passionate about it. I just like to sit on a rocking yeah, chair. Then, it's then, it would, then the entire thing would be which is the most versatile chair, basically. But also would Cracker Barrel be cooler if it was a bunch of gaming chairs outside? I would think, they be more hip? I and think <laughs> I'm gonna make Trevor decide, so I think I'm gonna vote gaming chair and let uh, Trevor be I'll the best. Rocking chair. All right. Okay. Imagine, imagine how ugly this would get, Con- Connor slash Hunter, if we did this with cars as the bracket. That, that maybe would, next week. I would not play. I think next week we do it. Connor would not play. I will not play. And we I, let you be the mediator. Trevor and I will have the that's argument. Fine. Trevor and I can have the well, argument. You're be, the deciding. Well, that factor. wouldn't be fun though, because like I don't. I care just wouldn't at choose. All. I just wouldn't choose. <laughs> yeah, I say like, that would just be the. There's like probably at least one. Like, because I because there's only one direction that game is going, and that is me pouring my heart out about a decision, and then you guys making fun of me, being like, ah, but that new blazer looks yeah, cool. Yeah, so wins. I would, so I, did, I would not play that game. I think what we would have it to would, do is we would have to ugly. pre-vote. So we pre-vote. We uh, all write on our paper what I we're still voting. Just think it's that you guys up, would. Yeah. Then we declare why we're voting, what we're voting. Yeah, I so think you guys no, would also no just. It, it you guys, but it's very obvious with almost everything which one you assume I would choose, yeah. and then wrong? you're still gonna just gonna fight against. No, that. it would be ugly. There's no way around. Yeah, that. I think we gotta be, do it. I'm not for I the would, views. I for the viewers. All right, the final. It would be very ugly. Throne versus rocking chair. One chair to rule them all. Well, you said that throne. Throne versus rocking chair. Which one's gonna rule? Okay, could you rule in a rocking chair? I don't really think so. You don't think you could? I don't think you look intimidating enough. I agree. Uh, but I agree. You if you have look that much power, enough. you're not necessarily, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Mm. Self-conscious about how it's I am look, personally. You know? They clearly okay, someone who's, because they someone made who's the really intimidating. Like <laughs> someone who's really intimidating <laughs> is not self-conscious about looking intimidating. Tell that you to walk any in, ruler that sat in a throne. You walk in in the mountain. Because they all looked, they all tried very hard. Mm-hmm. I'm almost even more intimidated because of how relaxed he is. <laughs> I think I think he's crazy. Yeah, I, th- which is I think the rocking chair does give a crazy which vibe. Which is rocking, intimidating. The rocking chair does give a slight crazy vibe. Mm. All right, right now, which one would you rather sit in? A rocking, rocking chair, chair or... I think. That but that's not the game. You're, it's not the game. It, it, how is it not the <laughs> game? <laughs> 
Uh, can you rock in a rocking in a well, throne? But no. you asked me this. If you said which, oh, one wait, wait, wait. I, which one would I rather have behind my desk right now? I would say throne. But yeah, but also listen to this though. If uh, here, this is for this is uh, the same argument almost. But like I'm I'm on right now. Apparently I'm on your team now because I mean if you're a ruler and you sit in a rocking chair, boom! Now it's a throne. It's just a rocking throne. A rocking, a rocking throne. throne. <laughs> I um, think throne wins. I gotta ask you this, Connor. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Were you about to try to convince me to say throne? Because yeah. you got me. Are you voting? Throne? I got myself. You I, vote. I convinced myself because of the idea of throne. I'm choosing. All right, throne. I'm gonna vote rocking chair. I Trevor, that. go ahead. Go ahead, choose rocking um, chair. I'm gonna take throne. I think throne. I just wanted to put it on Trevor. I think yeah. throne could couldn't be beaten in this bracket. I, unfortunately, I, I agree. I think it was. I think it was the an overpowered 16 chair. seed has officially won it all. So I think rocking chair. I think rocking chair needs an honorable mention because <laughs> it needs an honorable mention because I don't think it, anything could beat Throne and Edge. Yeah, it was. The if you get out of the metaverse, if yeah. you get out of the metaverse and into the physical megaverse, physical megaverse. Yes. Yeah. In the congratulations, the verse. The megaverse. The megaverse. Your, your rule and domain. The continues. metaverse. Yes. What I was going to ask you before you switched your answer because I was trying to convince you to go Throne. Um, I only want rocking chairs so that Trevor would have yeah, the final. Yeah, no, that vote makes sense. He wanted the final votes. Uh, as I was going to ask you. <laughs> If you zone. were to what? Huh? If you were to walk in and I put a rocking chair behind your desk, or you were to walk in and I put a throne behind your desk, which one gets you more excited? I'd definitely, be way more excited about a throne. You're right, exactly. But then you switch your mind, so I didn't <clears> have to do it. Switch my mind. Throne's all right, so excited. there you go. I don't know how long that was, but that 45 was forty-five minutes. Boom. Oh I mean, that was God. that was the last. <laughs> You're telling me y'all didn't have fun there? I had fun. It's I, fun. Uh, yeah. I kind of had fun. I, 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 well, here's. I had fun for a good bit. Of I, it. I will say, Hunter, <laughs> props to you for picking something that we couldn't get in a heated argument about. Yeah, that's a good one. Because good I would one. say, even if you went with something, like I said, cereal, there are cereals I'm passionate about. Yeah. <laughs> chairs, I do, am not very I passionate. I think if about. we go something like cereal, chairs, or a cereal car something like that i think instead the one of us that knows the least about whatever the subject is gives our top 10 so like cars it would do, be so there's no bracket? cars would probably be Wait, me what no i don't think we do a bracket i think cars like i would come in and i would name my top 10 cars so i start at 10 but that would, would be name nearly as exciting content just list top 10s rather than having to well no what would be what would be exciting would be like when i put a car at number one, and Connor is just so pissed that whatever car is not. In the I still think. I mean, I wouldn't. Mad. I wouldn't give. Like, yeah. I wouldn't. I think he's only gonna get mad. If if your his top cars. T- I wouldn't care beat. about your top ten. Yeah. Oh, you don't care about me. I know. I don't care. He about doesn't you. care okay. about you. I'm glad that we we let that out there in the air. I, don't, I just think that's the only way we can do it. Well, I th- agree with something because like I could cars. easily. I, could I think easily get are, someone heated. Over I think there are subjects things. we could get closer to the sun without burning ourselves. What's the next subject, man? What's the like, next bracket? Like I think it's bracket season. Can we declare this bracket types season? Types of shoes would be season. a really good one. Types of shoes. Types of shoes would be. Exotic. I am passionate about shoes, though. Um, yeah, but I don't think. Well, maybe we just all need to like say it to each other before this. Hey, guys. No. If somebody gets like they're gonna <laughs> blow a gasket, you need to cool down. No, because like that's kind of electric, though, to a certain extent. I'll freaking like what happens on the banter stays. Connor in the banter. is the only one that's gonna yell about shoes. Cause like, I won't yell about. I clearly like, don't care like, about shoes. Work boots. Shoes. You're saying flip flops, Hunter, are better than work boots. <laughs> Do you understand that they have been around since the beginning of time? I'm literally wearing flip flops today. That's how I'm not. I'm not a shoes. fan of flip flops. I will how say. Do you not that, I could see. I could see the work boots versus flip flops argument going. At, it'd be the end of you too. I think flip flops would be a tough one for me for something to beat. Exactly, and Connor. Well, it would be easy. Actually, it wouldn't be hard to beat whenever I'm dropping yeah, a rock on Connor, your foot. Well, Connor and I would vote it out like first round, and then it would be very easy to beat. But then, whatever beat it, you would like do that spite play again. I, all right, maybe we have to shoes next time, or we'll give it a few weeks to breathe. Let's give it a few weeks to let's, breathe. Wait, wait. Let's just let's just call call out to the comments and see. We need some what yeah. subject. Yeah, we what need subject? like underwhelming you argue it, subjects. If you made it through the chair bracket, first off, you deserve an award. Yeah. Secondly, maybe even a throne. What do you want next? That's it. That's it. Maybe is that's that the what banter? We should, we should probably add a little more. Okay. We're only at 45 minutes. I like fishing now. Yeah, let's talk through <laughs> some fishing, man. I bought I, a, I I'm going to tune out real quick. <laughs> I, bought a, I bought my fishing powered license. headphones? Hello? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Oh, you got your... We could what? fish tonight. Ooh. Nice. Yeah, right, not gonna, I'm not going to be able to convince Gabby of that. Yeah, I forgot. I can't make it anyways. <laughs> I actually don't know. I haven't asked Liz yet. Liz definitely forgot. That's fine. So, I'll text her whenever I kind of start feeling like it. <laughs> Maybe once I hear what we're doing. <laughs> Trevor can't make it, so I might not be there. Different reasons. 
Fishing though, dude. Tell us about it. Actually, did you weigh the fish you caught? No, I didn't. The big fish. No, I didn't. But it, I did. Did you measure it? He I measured. I measured. It was from it. my elbow to my knuckle. How, so that's about a foot. It was about thirteen inches. That's a cubit. That's a baker's dozen. That's, that's how they used to dozen. measure back in the day. Cubit. That's where a foot came from. You ever seen the guys mm. get the tattoos of the rulers? It's pretty cool. So when you're holding up. I've been watching. Bay. I've been watching these guys on YouTube that do these really fun fishing challenges. It's actually how I got kind of back into fishing as hardcore as I did was because of YouTube. How long do you I, think the fishing is going to last? I don't know. Fishing's a lifetime thing, man. No, like... But I like, don't think it's like a... I'll be super passionate for the rest of my life. I think it'll be like a lot of my other hobbies where like right now I'm super passionate about it. Then it'll lull for a little bit and then it'll come back and once be you, passionate about Once it. you like, own fishing gear, though, it's really easy to just be like, I'm alone tonight. Yeah. 7.30. You own fishing gear right mm-hmm. now? Of course and, and when's the last time you went fishing? It's been maybe six months to a year. Okay. Uh, Thanksgiving at the so beach. So it's not that easy. So <laughs> it's not like super easy to like go out there and fish. It is. I didn't have a fishing license until last week, so I, I couldn't fish legally. Well, yeah. Okay. But that's all. That's even easier. To I used to. Well, the other thing is we used to go to the lake house. And so I would mm. fish. Mm-hmm. I mean, I, I, I probably spent more I, time fishing than not That fishing. is one thing. I think with fishing, that is the only thing that could get. Because I. If I lived where you used to live at yeah. Lake Vista, I would have yeah. fished every night. Yeah, because for me, I think, and even then, like that that fishing spot wasn't like. But like, how much did you fish growing up? Not not much at all. I'm just saying, like for me, if I lived like literally lake house, walk out my front door, there's a lake in front of me. Maybe I could get into it because like I try, like living at Lake Vista, that got me to like try to get into fishing a little bit. I never really had time to, and I didn't. We moved before I really had a chance to try out a bunch, but like that is the only thing that's going to get me into it is like living somewhere where it's so accessible. I'm literally walking out my door Mm -hmm. because I don't have a ton of interest in it. I never really had to pay. My thing is like if I'm going to go fishing, I'd rather go play golf or I'd rather go play disc golf. Like there are so many other things. The thing about fishing though is you can. It's a. It's way more mindless. But I don't. I don't. Else? I don't like that though. I love. I that. don't like that either. Really? I don't do it because it's mindless. Oh, that's what I loved about it. it I was like the, the only, action of it. It was the only way for me to relax. I don't. Because like, well, I, it is I relaxing. I'm not someone that can just like at the beach. I hate just sitting on the beach. I yeah, I hate there. sitting on the beach. That's How it. do you love sitting on a beach but you don't like fishing? See, what's funny is the only time I'm able to relax is when I'm at the beach if, or on vacation. If I'm at home, I cannot just sit down and read a book. Because like, If I I'm did. at the beach, though, and I know like it's designated relax time for an mm-hmm. entire week, then I'm able to sit on the beach and read for four hours. I don't, I don't view reading as relaxing. Depends on the kind of reading you're doing. You do reading to learn. I yeah. do, I do. I read like nonfiction. Oh, it also depends on what you yeah, do non-fiction. for work a lot of times. So I read fiction. Oh, I can't read fiction. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. My reading is to relax. Yours is to like learn. Yeah, because like I, what I'm like fishing, I could go sit, listen to a podcast, listen to an audio book. Yeah, I can. And just like veg. I don't have the. And just. I don't have the. And then when something patience. hits, oh, it's electric. I don't have the patience Adrenaline to do rush. that. I like it because I, so. It's also you can find you this. Quiet. When you you're with friends, it's a lot easier though. I can do it with friends. I hate fishing with friends. Well, here's, so here's the thing. I think I can thing. fish with Connor because Connor's into it. If I take like people who don't care about fishing, I get mm. real ticked because like it is true that if you're very loud and talk a bunch, it's gonna make fishing worse. Mm. Yeah, so here's my, here's my sucks. thing. <laughs> this is how I get attached into hobbies. Any hobby, it's if there is some kind of process or equipment involved that is like particular. So that's why like I got. I mean, I got into music for different reasons. But one thing I love about playing the guitar is your pedal board and all the different pedals and stuff that you have on your pedal board. That's probably my favorite part about playing the guitar is that is that equipment. My How I got into disc golf so easily, throwing was fun, but then I figured out about different kinds of discs. I'm very passionate about different kinds of discs, and I think that's very fun, is building your bag and having different discs and stuff like that. And cameras... I was much more interested almost in the equipment than the activity whenever I first got into it. And so I like that there's different lenses and different editing software and stuff like that. Fishing, you can have different types of bait and, and lures and stuff like that. And that's what I think is really interesting. Have you tried a Carolina rig yet? No. Real good around here. So mainly during the times of day where the fish aren't super active uh, and spawning season, so it's a lot better in the spring. Mm-hmm. You basically, you have two, I forget what they're called, but they're little like spacers basically. Mm-hmm. Um, what are those? Do you, I don't know if they have a I, know, I think I know what you're talking about. But they have two of those, and then you put a weight in between. So the mm-hmm. weight's free moving, right? Then on this side, you put a lead of like six, eight inches or whatever. Then you put a lizard 
with the hook inside the lizard. Mm-hmm. So then it can slide along the, along the bottom. Yeah. And the hook doesn't come out till it gets hit. So basically what ends up happening is after you cast out, the weight rides the bottom. Mm-hmm. It'll bump over the rocks and stuff like that. And the lure is light enough that it floats above. Okay. So it makes it underwater look like basically a lizard is just swimming through the water. Yeah. So in spawning season, I you cast up onto crap. those rocks and then you let you just pull slowly, drag it across the bottom mm-hmm. and just like this is the motion where you just like kind of yeah. drag it a few inches every time and then it like lets it sink and you drag it, it pops mm-hmm. back up and you just drag that weight across the bottom, across those rocks and any bass that are spawning up in those rocks, hit it, <sighs> electric. That was a big way to fish up on electric. the rocks at Smith Mountain. Gotcha. That makes sense. The guy, Mainly a guy I, I went with a couple summers ago, went, we fished a lake and he said one of the best ways to catch fish in a lake was to do a shaky head. So it was just a worm on a shaky head hook that basically does... The very same similar. thing, but instead of floating, it just drags along the rocks and the worm just shakes. Yeah. And it's very enticing. Very similar. Yeah. Um, right now, well, I say right now, again, I haven't been fishing a little bit, but my go-to is if I'm trying to just catch and I don't care how big I'm catching, I get a little grub with a mm-hmm. little, there's a little bit of a weight on the head and the tails when like just spins. Yeah. It's not like, um, it's not uh it doesn't have like a treble hook. It's not the typical like perch rig where it has the thing that spins around it. You guys it. could be talking in Mandarin right now. The the tail just spins and it has a mm-hmm. little exposed hook. And you'll catch small like small largemouth bass, small mouth, perch love it, crappy love it. It's pretty much just like a wide range of everything that loves it. Mm-hmm. Just cast that and just reel it in. It, any part of the lake, any part of it was really big on the James River. A lot of people called a bunch of stuff on um John Deere colored ones where gotcha. it was like yellow and green. But I used to be real, real into fishing, but I never got into fishing by like researching it. So I don't know a lot of technical names and stuff. I just fished with a lot of people that fished a lot. Gotcha. And so they just taught me, you know, when to use dark colored lures versus bright color, top water, all that stuff. Mm-hmm. That makes I used sense. to love it. And we used to fish a heck of a lot for striper. I like, we'd be out to like two, three, four in the morning and just catch a bunch of shad, have them swimming around and hook right above the eyeballs. So you don't yeah. go through their brains. They're still alive. Throw that thing out there, swims around, striper hit it, nothing like it. We'd have like five lines in the water with a bell on top of each mm-hmm. one, and then we'd be bass fishing off the side of the dock, and then the bell would start ringing. <sighs> That's Man. so fun. That sounds like fun. That was a good time. That type of fishing, you could, you just were hanging out on a dock. We were playing card games, whatever, yeah. because mm-hmm. like you're not I, actively fishing being what, quiet. Like, cause don't get me wrong. The times that I've gone, and I've been fishing quite a few times in my life, but... The times when I go fishing is like we're camping or like my grandparents live in the mountains of Pennsylvania. There's a big lake and it's like, hey, let's all go fishing. And like we all go down there. We catch a few fish. We mm-hmm. have a good time. Like, And I am so down for that. But as like a hobby that I do a lot or I'll do by myself, certainly not. It's so peaceful. If my, you get out like on my a father in law by is, yourself. My father-in-law is will be he will be the guy to like maybe shift me because he is big into fishing he does he's done tournaments all that stuff and That's he i mean funny. he bought brooks my son like already bought him a fishing pole so like brooks is gonna fish mm-hmm. <laughs> at some point and i think he also got brooks like a lifetime hunting license too like he's, he's very big in hunting and fishing so that'll maybe like stem it into my life a little bit and i i'm sure i can get into i i, I like hobbies so i'm mm-hmm. sure I, I could get into my, it it's the waiting game for me you just have to That's view it tough. as like fishing isn't the act of catching fish fishing is you're on the bank relaxing at a lake but i me for me just sitting on the bank of the lake staring out the water doesn't do it for me and that's why I, that's beach, why i'm bobber, not a bobber i'm reading not, a book that's why i can't do just like a bobber well, like, you're just sitting there and you're there with your thoughts it's like that's shower not, thoughts not good enough for me man if i had the a, best if ideas i had happen. like i need to be entertained it's that's why I, that's extent. why i don't i can't do just like a bobber like fishing because I don't want to just sit there and wait. Yeah. I want to be like, okay, I'm seeing where the fish are active. Let me move to that part of the lake. Oh, there's a tree over there that's down. So in the that's water. what I'm there's saying. Maybe and maybe I'd enjoy fly fishing because it's a little more like you're out there and you're waiting out there. You're kind of more active with the rod, something like that. But yeah, I think and it, it's just maybe those things where I got to just get find what I like to do with it. But I don't know. Yeah, I I just like it because I like any excuse to be near water and to be out in nature. Yeah. And I'm not just going to go sit near water and be out in nature and just sit there. And so to have a hobby that brings me out there makes me more excited. Yeah. Cause like, and even like with, with speaking to that, like I can go sit out on a tube in a lake with mm-hmm. like friends and just sit out there and talk to each but other. But all those require friends. I would also enjoy that. Yeah. Well, I mean, I have friends. This is like I get up at, I could get up tomorrow morning at 5 a.m. Yeah. 
drive down to the college lake and just be out there for me for me my like alone time hobby is just it's golf it always has been like for me like walking out alone on the golf course by myself with my thoughts and playing golf that is like my thing Mm. i love it so much like i used to play disc golf by myself a lot but (sighs) yeah no disc golf by myself i don't do very often sometimes i don't now anymore I it's think hard, for me though, running get, running kind of took over fishing. It's so easy to for get me. It to, for me to ha- like get mm-hmm. somebody to play disc golf with me, like that. It's like if, if the, the rare time that I play an actual casual round, if I just want to be like, "Hey, Hunter, Connor, Silas, whoever, like, is one of you free to play with me?" Like that's what I did the other week, and mm-hmm. Silas and I went out and played. Just Silas and I, and we had a good time. So, I think that's why I haven't fished in a while, running, because yeah, that's kind of my picking up your time. Well, no, that's the it does the exact same thing. It's mindless. Like I can go if I when I obviously I'm just now getting back to running from my ankle. Yeah. But like when I ran ten miles, it was near close to two hours, like hour ten, hour fifteen, or a uh, hundred ten minutes. So it's like, like wait, sorry, I was doing one ten. It's like hundred and ten minutes. Cause I think I ran like eleven minute pace somewhere in there. It's like hundred and ten minutes. It was basically just me with my thoughts. I was listening yeah. to like lo fi music. Yeah, that's a long. Which is just like that's a long run because you got long, the furthest I got out there was. Six miles. I so even think. that's like an hour. Yeah, no, it was like an hour. And I was gonna say that's a I lot of just relaxing time. Didn't enjoy it. Really? I don't. The long run game. The long run game for me, like I'll do. I think it's. I'm able to do it because I'm pursuing a goal of running a certain distance, but yeah. I don't enjoy it. I much. I think for me in the long term, running for me it looks like running no longer than five miles and working on running the fastest 5k mile mm-hmm. time, stuff like that, that I can. I just really like, I think I just I don't like, like distance running, but I do. Like I like running. activities where I can just think. I do too. I feel like I solve a lot of problems that stress me I, out. And when I can just think I do too, but I have to be working toward like for like mowing the lawn. I used to like, because I could just get those off of my thoughts, listen to music, but mm-hmm. it, I'm also accomplishing something like fishing. You are a comp, like I get it. You're working towards something, but like, I guess maybe to it's fishing that idea that something might not happen. You might just not catch a fish, Yeah, but then it's like, like, oh, like you're mowing the lawn. You're going to finish mowing the lawn. It's more the like, fish. I the pursuit at- of the high when you, when that like yeah. massive bass does hit. And, and it's probably, it's electric. And, and yeah, it's probably also just a, my lack of fishing experience to where I haven't had too many of those to mm. where that's probably a big part of it. Like maybe if I went out and went fishing with you and we had like caught all these fish, I would, maybe I would get hooked. I also, I no got, pun intended. I compared, I compared fishing to golf in my head the other day because it, it was very similar in the way I was looking at it because, um, I went fishing on Saturday, um, night on the James river didn't catch anything but a smallmouth bass that was the size of my hand so that felt very sad because i was out there for a long well, time sometimes those put but, up great fights too but overall i just had a, i just had a lot of fun because i was just out there near water and i was one wheeling from spot to spot fishing with a one wheel so much fun because you can move from spot to spot so easily much rather have a boat but still it's fun and then but then the next day i was going out and i had just bought a fishing pole too and i went out and i was uh fishing at college lake and I was thinking, was it stupid that I already poured this much emotion into this hobby, uh, like just for this weekend, basically? And I didn't spend a bunch of money on the. I bought the fish pole off Face Marketplace for like twenty five bucks, and so it wasn't like a big deal. But uh, I was like, am I and not ever gonna do this again? And then I caught one pretty decent sized bass, and it was like that's all it took. It just took that one catch for me to be like, I'm. I want to do this every weekend. It's just like it's like day. disc golf, golf it's, where you have one throw. Yeah, like you, you with golf, bad. you like hit so many bad shots, but it just takes one good shot in the round that brings you to your next round. You know, that's like I mean? when we used to go to when I went to Myrtle. Me and my dad used to fish every single summer, um, and we would just fish one day. One morning we'd get up at like five, six in the morning, go out to the pier and fish till like nine a.m. and Every summer, we wouldn't catch much, but you'd catch something. And catching an, a fish in the ocean, you're yeah, guaranteed no idea to catch something like. like you just haven't seen in real life before. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And it was electric. And a lot of times, it would just be like a sea bass or something stupid, but it was like big. That's mm-hmm. cool. And you reel it up on the that pier, cool. and like everyone on the pier starts coming around to like see what you just caught. And then like people are hooking sharks next to you. Yeah, and stuff. Say, the That's shark cool. fishing stuff is sick. That, that sounds scary. My <laughs> father in law. Well, you, you see the outer on banks. the edge of the beach. Like, I see people, like, on the yeah. shore. Yeah. They, and at, late at night, you see them sticking their poles in. That, yeah, my, mm-hmm. my brother-in-law, Crazy. Ethan, he fishes hard. And so when we go to the beach, 
even during the day, they go to like a more remote beach. So even during the day, he's got poles out just sitting there. Mm. Um, but because at Myrtle, you can't fish during the day off the beach. It's yeah. too busy. Um, that's where you have to go to the pier. But then my father-in-law and one of my brother-in-laws, um, whenever they go to the Outer Banks, my father-in-law, like his morning routine, because me and him both are the only ones that get up early. And so I'll get up like 6.30 or 7 just because I can't sleep in. And I'll walk up there and me and him will have coffee and just be talking. And every single morning he turns on the fishing report, the radio, huh. just here's where the fish are. Here's what the wind's doing. And he's, he's been going to the Outer Banks for so long that if the wind's coming from a certain direction, he knows, okay, I'm not going out here. I'm going to this pier or this bridge or whatever. And then he'll go out and fish. We'll all go to the beach and then we'll come back for like lunch or something. And he'll be like, ah, I didn't really catch anything today or show us pictures, whatever he caught. Mm-hmm. And so that's like his thing. My brother-in-law down there, Kent, will, he, he says he loves to fish down there. I think he does, but I don't think he likes getting up early enough to fish. Mm. So like him and him and his dad will go out like when when I've been they go out like once a week early in the morning and some mornings they'll be like hey tomorrow morning we're we're going fishing honey you want to join I'm like yeah they're like, all right we're gonna get up at five so I'll get up at five go mm-hmm. up I'll get up at like four thirty go up make my coffee I'll just chill there <laughs> that's it. they don't walk up one they got up one time and it was the time I decided I'm not gonna do fall for this again I'm not going mm-hmm. and like the other two times I got up at like five. Nothing. And I just chilled upstairs. And then Mr. Wilson came up at like six. He's like, man, I slept straight through my alarm. He goes, you, do you want me to go wake Ken up? I was like, well, I, I don't care. I was like, I'm, I was going to be up either way. Like I got to do some work on my laptop. So I don't have to worry about it later today. I can actually relax today. He goes, all right, well, yeah, if Kent doesn't get up, we probably won't go. I'm like, that's fine. Kent got up at like 1030. <laughs> that's just typical. But I mean, there is, I love going on vacation with them because my family always was like nine, 10 o'clock. We're in bed. Like we, mm-hmm. we were never, none of my family's night owls. Mm. My brother would stay up and like play video games in his room, but none of us were really night owls. It was yeah. very rare to be. Lizzie's family was like, like if I went over to Lizzie's house, I'd always have to leave around nine or 10 to go home just cause I knew my whole family's going to sleep and her whole family would still be up talking. Yeah. And so every once in a while I'd stay up texting Liz. I'm like, what are y'all doing? She's like, oh, we're just sitting around talking. Yeah. And so like when I go to the beach with them, like that's what we do. We get back from like dinner ice cream, all that. It's like eight thirty, nine o'clock. And we'll just talk for like three hours and yeah. then it'll be midnight. That's my, my family is, we'll stay up till three o'clock just talking. Cool. Yeah. Hang out. Yeah. So, but Liz has adopted to my way, not <laughs> by anything other than like it would hit nine o'clock and I'd be like, all right, well I'm going to bed, Liz. She's like, you don't want to just sit up? And I'm like, and do what? Yeah. She's like, well, we can watch TV and talk. I was like, well, we've been talking. This is all, I was working at home from this point. I was like, we've been talking all day. Like, I, <laughs> yeah. I'm going to get up early in the morning. I have, and so now Liz goes to bed around nine or ten with me. I have later th- at this stage in life, even before I had a baby, I have become such a big fan of the earlier to bed, mm-hmm. like nine o'clock. I know, agree because nine o'clock is still plenty late, you know. Yeah, and especially then, especially let's caveat all of this. Lynchburg's basically closed at nine. Yeah, so and it's also, not like there's things you yeah, can still be. And out also, doing. let me before I like. By the way, like I did go to college and I went to bed at like one in the morning every morning. Like I lived mm-hmm. that life. But there's something about being able to wake up at six in the morning and feel refreshed and then being able to do it on a weekend and mm-hmm. feel refreshed and have yeah. that whole day ahead of you to seize. I love that. I've Fish. learned I just learned to love that morning time so much and how much time you have more in the day. Cause I just love daylight. I hate like being dark outside and you're being like still being up. So like I, I've adopted that lifestyle big time. Now that being said, like when I'm on vacation, I might stretch it to like, okay, I might stay up till 1030 and then wake up at seven, seven thirty or whatever. But when I'm at the beach, I, I, I will get up as early as possible because I want to get as much out of that day. I'll wake up at six. I'll go run before it gets hot out. Cause I love running at the beach and I'll be out on the beach by like eight 30 to just sit. I can't spend more than three, four hours on a beach. Oh, I spend all day. If I'm in the water, I could spend all day there. But I as soon as I get out of the water, I'm ready to go. And the problem is most people I go to the beach with nowadays don't want to just be I in the water that. to be in the water. I hate that. I'm like, oh, guys, I'm let's go. Love, let's I'll go sit in the water for hours. Water. Yeah. Like, yeah. Let's go jump in the waves, whatever I, you want to do. Like, let's get in the water. I'll freaking, yeah. I skimboard a little bit. I'll body surf, boogie board. Yeah. I'll do all that crap. Yeah. I'll, I'll do it until I'm 50 I'm not, in, I'm not into hanging out in the sand, but no. I love being in the That's water. That's like everyone just wants to like sit on the sand and just relax and suntan. I'm like, well, so what we, what our family, got my farmer's what our family does that's very crucial to the sitting on the beach is we have canopies, quite a few. And so like, it does help. Yeah. So you're not just, you don't, when you're down there, 
you're sitting in the shade. You're not getting just cooked the whole time. Because like I, if it was if there was no shade and we're just down there on the beach, I wouldn't be out there longer than a couple hours maximum. Mm -hmm. But like it's it's very much a like you can just sit in the shade under the canopy and we all have beach chairs that we fold and bring down there. Like we we set up camp down there. It's not just like gotcha. You're out there to fry. At the Outer Banks, we drive. What I like, what I love about going to the beach with Lizzie's family is most of them get up later. And so there's no chance we're getting on the beach before 12 o'clock. And so I love that because hates the beach. they love sitting on the beach, but they also want to eat dinner at a reasonable mm-hmm. hour. So there's no way we're being on the beach more than four hours. Mm-hmm. No chance, which is great because my family gets out on the beach at like 7 a.m. And my family is ready to go in by like 11 a.m. Mm. But Liz is like, what are we doing? It's 11 a.m. Like, let's sit out here till dinner. I'm like, we've been out here four hours already. We, We're going in. We do it this in is sh- over. We do it in shifts. So, because like, we'll, we're probably all out on the beach by 9 a.m. And this is just typical. We're all out there by like 9 a.m. And then we all come in for lunch. We like, like make a spread around noon. And we go back out and come back in around four. So it's like two shifts of like three to four hours. And like, you know, not everybody's out there the whole time, but that's kind of how we, we've always done it. I mean, I. I, I just hate be, being like hot and sandy. Yeah, shade. that sucks. That's where the shade comes into play. The shade would hot, be a big though. deal, but I don't. I also it don't doesn't like, get hot at all though. When you have the breeze coming off the water and you're sitting, that and is just, true. And you're think in about shade, this. You got to think so about this. Honey. I'll sit in the shade. You, I still the, get hot. This is a key. This is a very key thing. You set up the tent in the morning, so that shade has been the shade all day. So it is. Well, very we can't cool set up there. tents at Myrtle. They're legal. Yeah, that's you can set up. That's a key. You can set up. And also, you start to get a little hot. Straight to the ocean, walk back, boom. No, see, that's the problem, is that I'm not like a get wet and get back out and sit there and dry. I hate drying. Mm. Yeah. That's, I know that's I'm a weird thing. I'm either wet or I'm dry. But I don't like dr- the drying process. No, I hate yeah. when I'm cold because I'm wet. So what I do, like, what well, I hate- 90 degrees outside. Is my family <laughs> no, I'm will like, just like, <laughs> my family like get out of the ocean and just like lay down on their towels and I'm like, I'm not laying anywhere near no, the sand. I, I and so sand I get out of the me. water and I stand there like this we had, in dry the sun. The key, and use a towel and dry the, off. All the towels are being used for laying on. The key, no, is, gotta bring one. the key is having mesh chairs so that you can sit in them and then you kind of just dry through them and they just... I will say, dry. Trevor, one year, my dad finally was like, why do we just go out to the beach and just sit on towels? Because that's all we did. We would yeah. just sit on towels. Yeah. He that's was not, like, that's not we've got to figure something else out. And so he went to the store and he bought a bunch of beach chairs. Changed the game. And even just having the beach chairs did make it a lot more Having a, a beach chair in shade... Is is a game changer. Now, granted, uh, also when we go to the beach, we've been blessed that my grandparents every year would rent us a house literally on the beach. So our stairs from our patio That's would go down sweet. to the beach. So you're never far away from. That's nice. That would help. So that 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 also helps. Um, I think the house we got, they or they got this year is um, right across the street. Hmm. It, it's got like a private entrance or whatever. But at the at Myrtle, we stay. On the beach, but you're in a hotel. So you're like 13 stories up. So there is a process. And then Lizzie's uncle's house where we stay, we go to the Outer Banks. And he's on the sound. So you're like five minutes. Well, you're you're technically across the street from the beach, but like to get to a good spot of the beach, you have to drive five minutes. But if you drive 10 minutes, you can just drive my truck straight on the beach. Mm. So that's what we typically do. If we just drive the 10 minutes, get my truck on the beach, back it up, and then set up shop in my truck. That's a That's cool fun. setup. Yeah. We do, whenever we go to Edisto, which is where we go every year, uh, we ride our bikes everywhere. So we ride our bikes to the beach and back, which That's I don't fun. I don't mind that That's because fun. you're dry when we get back. I, I I mean, we ride our bikes like at least 10 to 15 miles a day whenever we're at, at Edisto. That's fun. Yeah. I've never really done bike riding at the beach, but I, I'd like to. It's the beach that we go to is you definitely could because you can do a lot of walking. There's these cool trails like where we go, like these paths all through the woods mm. that are all along like boardwalks that are like over like swamp and stuff, which is very, very cool. The year that Pokemon Go came out, which is like I only really played it for like three months during the summer, I walked at the beach. I mean, I want to say 20 miles in like a couple of days. Like, I mean, <laughs> I just, I walked up and down that beach trying to find Pokemon. It was, it was electric. Funny. That summer, Pokemon Go captured the world. Pokemon Go was, <laughs> was great for a few months. It was very And then I got so months. bored. I, I also got bored. But I had a lot of fun. I had, man, I had so much fun. I played it when that, I played the this thrill, one. The, 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 thr- yeah, the thrill of like seeing one pop up on your map and be like, oh my gosh, that's whatever. Like I've been trying to catch. 
very fun game. I didn't ever play because I saw my friends get sucked into it, and I was like, I know I I have a bad track record with mobile games and getting <laughs> too sucked into them. Subway Surfer specifically, and so I was like, I can't let myself. What I'll do say that. is now I wouldn't get back into Pokemon Go because people are so far ahead of it now. Like obviously, yeah. like I wouldn't even want to try. But if a new one came out like it, and like I was at a place like the beach again. I would get into it for. Well, I I just used it like every tournament I played, every disc golf. I was playing a lot of disc golf back then. I was constantly on Pokemon Go, and I just had a portable charger. I literally had my bag. I literally had friends <laughs> that we would we would like drive to locations to yeah, walk around. I never did that. It, it kind of like, had it a reprise last year. It got year. us exercising. People like, got would back just into drive it last to year. parks. Pokemon Go, man. Good time. Yeah. All right, that's it. All right, that's love the banter. You, love you. Bye. Sit on Thrones. That game was really fun. Like I forget how much fun. I